First baseman Freddie Friedman's first season with the LA Dodgers was one of the best ones. In this spring training, Friedman looks very good. He could have another great season. Before he gets to the regular season, Freeman will be competing in the World Baseball Classic with Team Canada. Canadians fans will get a great show with Freddie Friedman on their team. You've been doing so many spring trainings. What did you look for, try to improve at this time of your career? Uh, well, it's, I don't know about it. It's just kind of honing in what I've been doing for a long time in this game, making sure um, everything's right where I want it to be. Uh, body's in good shape. Uh, now it's just kind of getting timing. Um, but I have been working on like ankle mobility to try and get lower on ground balls and stuff. So I guess that's my little improvement is um, kind of working on to uh, be a little bit better defensively without the shifts now. So I'll have to cover more range. So that's what we're kind of working on right now. So many new rules mm -hmm. now, <laughs> especially now with the, the clock rules arrive in mm -hmm. baseball. Yeah. How challenging can that be for some players? Uh, I think it's going to be a little bit challenging. It's just an adjustment. Life is about adjustments, so um, baseball is no different. It's just kind of going with the flow. Um, they're, they're trying to make baseball a little bit crisper and faster, and that's okay. So as baseball players, we'll take it in stride and kind of continue to work on it and make sure we're ready by opening day. Now every team in spring training, every player has the World Series as a goal. Mm -hmm. How do you balance that with focusing on what you need to do today? Yeah, well, the big goal is obviously the World Series. Um, but for me, you got to focus on little things because there will never be a big end goal if you don't work on the little things and with intent every single day. So for me, it's trying to win each and every day, continue to work in the cage, work in the field, work on the body, make sure everything's ready to go by March 30th. So you can have the chance to end up at that big goal in the World Series. You are playing in the WBC <laughs> for Team Canada. Yes. How exciting is that moment for you? Yeah, I'm really excited. <laughs> um, you know, I've both my parents were born and raised in Canada, and obviously I lost my mom when I was 10, so um, I do it to honor her, to keep her memory alive, so people can talk about Rosemary Freeman. So I'm really excited. Uh, I know the Canadian people heard that story in 2017. They like the story, but I think we want to win some book games, too, at the same time, so I hope we can uh, do that in a couple of weeks. Are you planning to wear something special on your mom? Well, if another thing is I wear sleeves every game, and that is to honor her as well because she passed of melanoma skin cancer. So uh, it's just a little thing to honor her. So that's what I do. I can't wait to see you yeah. there. It's going to be so much fun. Yep. And here, it's, uh, it will be so interesting with a everybody. A lot of teammates <laughs> that will become gonna enemies. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a good riff. But I'm just glad uh, Julio's facing Columbia. I don't want to face him. Uh, so that's good. I don't want to face him anymore. I'm glad we're on the same team. But it's going to be fun. A lot of guys representing their country. So it's just a lot of more uh, players doing it. So I think it's going to be a good tournament. From Glendale, Arizona, this is Claudia Gestro for the LA Post Examiner.